Lindsey Graham. Okay. okay, my apologies. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay. Dear board members, specifically Brian Parks, Michael Todd, Chris Kenyon, I want to thank you. On behalf of any parent that cares deeply about their child being educated and not indoctrinated, we thank you. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare stop fighting for these children as hard as their parents do. The future lies in these precious and innocent kids. Thank you for what it takes to sit up there and take punches and fight cancel culture and do what's right at every cost. Paul Bixler at one point, I suppose, was an asset to this board, an asset and positive influence to the community. Now it is clear that he only cares about himself, and here's why. When you used the women's locker room at my gym and you saw me undressing in a place that I, as a woman, should have had privacy and security, your response was vile. Instead of apologizing for being out of place, apologizing for compromising women's rights, apologizing for stepping into a role that you have no place in, you despicably chose to come after me, attack me, and attempt to threaten and silence me with legal action. Just now at this meeting outside, I was served by Paul Bixler attempting to keep me from speaking here as a public citizen with First Amendment rights. How appalling, especially of an elected official. Any level-headed, mentally stable man, upon hearing that the females he wants to share a locker room with feels insecure about his presence, would graciously look for an alternative, not to continue to put women and, and girls in harm's way or make them terrified for his own benefit. Imagine how these little girls at the schools must feel when you tower over them wearing high heels, thundering your voice to them and simultaneously forcing them to call you a woman. They must be so scared and confused. It must distract them from their schoolwork. Now, if none of that were bad enough, I know firsthand that the board members on this board are receiving threats because they are not forcing you off the board because they can't. Their lives are being threatened. Their safety is being threatened and now tax dollars are being spent for security to defend them. It seems like you sit on the board narcissistically and refuse to step down at everyone else's expense. You only care about yourself. You're not a female. I'm sorry if that's called bullying. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, but I'm speaking truth. I'm speaking it loudly. You're not a woman and your mental illness is becoming a distraction to this board. And if you cared about the kids, if you cared about their education, if you cared about focusing on those children and their education and letting the board focus, you would step down. We the people demand that you step down. Thank you. Our next speaker will be Julie Hout.